Welcome back everyone, I am the Executioner and today we're going to talk about the war in Ukraine. What do I think of the conflict? Well, first of all, Ukraine has been having trouble since 2014, since the annexation of Crimea and the revolution which overthrew the previously Russian-centric government. And I really think this conflict is just pointless. I think that Russia does not have a lot to gain from this. They have lost a lot of lives, and the land that they would have got is just, it's not worth the death and destruction. Now, Putin can't see that because people don't want to admit when they're wrong, but what do I think about the United States uh, trying to intervene in this conflict? I think that Putin wants us to intervene because he wants to draw us into a bigger conflict with China overall, because China did say they want to go after Taiwan, and Russia said they would back China if China went after Taiwan. And China made a agreement with Russia that they would support Russia's invasion of the Ukraine. So this whole conflict is just out of whack. So what do I think of the LPR and the DPR? Well, I think that everybody has the right to secede from a government. I believe that if people see the government as tyrannical or that they don't want to be a part of it anymore, they should have the right to either abolish or break away from it. That's quite clear from the Declaration of Independence, many libertarian uh, writers, etc. And I think that secession is not wrong in the slightest. Now, what do I think about them allying with Russia? I think that's a giant mistake because you have allied with the boogeyman. People are now going to see you and they're not going to associate you with freedom fighters. They're not going to associate with a secession movement trying to secede from what they see as a tyrannical government. They're going to see two terrorist factions allied with the Russian Federation trying to invade Ukraine. Now, what's going to happen to the LPR? What's going to happen to the DPR after the war? Most likely, they're going to have a fate very similar to Crimea, in which they're probably going to be forced at gunpoint to have an election, and they'll probably be absorbed into Russia. It, that's if Russia doesn't give up, but Putin's very stubborn, and it's unlikely he would try to give up. But this whole conflict kind of started from these people who didn't want to be a part of the Ukrainian uh, Republic and just have their own thing, and it's kind of gone into this more thing where Russia has intervened on the side of the secessionists and has just painted a giant bullseye on those two sovereign quote-unquote republics. So should they have just, I don't know, just stayed alone and tried to fight it? A absolutely. It it's just remarkable how much this has gone from what some would consider a secessionist civil war to a potential global conflict. Now, do I think that America is going to get involved? No, I don't think Joe Biden has the stones to even uh, point a weapon at Russia. I think he's going to sell them a lot of weapons, sell the Ukraine a lot of weapons, anti-aircraft, etc. But there is no chance that there will be a no-fly zone whatsoever. Because if NATO sets up a no-fly zone, then that means we will be shooting down Russian planes. And that means Russia will get pissed and either press the nuclear button or try to declare war on us. Or do some other freaky shit. So I think this whole thing really is, it, it's a cluster flock. It's, I've seen libertarians cover this as if uh, w they're reporting more for Russia or the Ukraine or they're a bit biased. I think in this situation, nobody's gonna win. So I think it's pointless to focus on either the Ukraine's war crimes uh, in indefinitely because you need to cover both sides. Russia is guilty of war crimes. Ukraine may be guilty of war crimes. That we know, but it's totally pointless to just report on Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine all the time just because you don't like Ukraine. So it's a very interesting situation. Do I think this will go nuclear? No. I think that the global powers would never risk a nuclear confrontation. Nuclear confrontations would be just not in the best interest to any of the world powers. 
And I think that the most likely scenario if nukes were involved would be by accident. Uh, that's almost happened with the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, there have been 18 broken arrows, lost nuclear weapons, including multiple incidents where nuclear weapons have almost been launched due to a number of things. Um, sun flares, for example, confusing nuclear warning systems, uh, a mistake, obviously a mistake by an operator, and or an unauthorized user. So there are things to prevent that, but what I personally think is this won't go nuclear, but it's always good to prepare. Definitely buy canned goods, firearms, uh, definitely make an effort of that, gas masks, and just prepare for the worst. But how unlikely that may be, you should always prepare for the worst. Even if it's never going to get nuclear, it's still good to uh, prepare uh, buy firearms, buy canned food, ammo, in case of uh, uh, national unrest, or that type of situation. Or Red Dawn, uh, how unlikely that may be. But I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe, and have a wonderful week.